of St. Francis, featuring Ward Bond as your narrator. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? You've heard this old song any number of times, haven't you? But have you ever thought of it as more than a song, as a sort of a question directed just to you? Were you there, you the businessman, you the school teacher, the housewife, the college student, anybody, everybody? Yes, you were there. We were all there. We ran through the streets of Jerusalem. We climbed the hill called Calvary. We each had a place there and a name. You were there, Jim Barker. You, the head of your department. After that investigation, somebody had to go, anybody, even an innocent man. You could have stopped the rumors about him. You could have issued a statement that would have cleared him but public opinion was aroused. You knew whose fingers pointed out him to be the scapegoat, but they had influence, and you had your job to think of. Yes, you were there. Two thousand years ago, you had the same excuse, Pontius Pilate. What should I have done? Risked my position and perhaps my life to save him? They would have reported me. It was their doing. They wanted him out of the way. Those charges against him. Any judge would have laughed them out of court. I did my best to save him. I even had him scourged. I thought that would satisfy them. The rest, the crowning of thorns, the mockery, that was the soldier's doing, not mine. Even with that, he was never broken. He spoke to me as if he were my equal. I knew he was innocent... But they could have ruined my reputation. I did the only practical thing for a man in my position. He watched me wash my hands. I caught the strangest look in his eyes. As if he pitied me. You were there, Steve Randall, taxi driver, spending your days at the beck and call of strangers... You don't know them from Adam or Eve, but you help them find a good hotel, a good place to eat. You even pay the railroad fare of an old lady who's been robbed of her purse. And you halt boys and girls in their flight from home. You were there. Your name was Simon. You said afterwards... I had come up from Cyrene to Jerusalem on business. I saw the crowd. Naturally, I followed them to find out what was happening. Next thing I knew, a Roman soldier was dragging me into the line of march, ordering me to help a man who had fallen beneath the weight of a cross. I protested. I told him I was a respectable citizen and I wanted nothing to do with executions or criminals. He reached for his sword, and of course, I had to lift the cross. The fallen man staggered to his feet. He was covered with dust and blood. He could hardly stand. But he tried to smile as he thanked me. I carried his cross to the top of the hill. When I set it down, I saw the inscription, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. It was a Roman joke, of course, but I knew by this time that he was a king among men. And I was proud that I had been able to help him. Nurse, 
In the men's ward of a city hospital, nurse bending over this derelict from a downtown alley, washing off the dirt and the blood. You were there. They called you Veronica. I was walking down the road toward the city when I saw the mob and him stumbling along beneath a cross. I had never seen him before, but some of my neighbors had told me that he always had a gentle word for a woman. It was a good thing to hear in the day when a man had more kind words for his horse than for his wife. As I drew near, I saw that his face was running with sweat and that blood from the crown of thorns had filled his eyes. My heart all but broke with pity. I slipped past the great brutes who were guarding him. I pulled the veil off my head and pushed it into his hands. For one moment, he buried his face in its folds. He hands it back just as the guards pulled me away. When I was out of the crowd, I unfolded my veil. I saw the impression of his face. Soldier of the hammer and the sickle, wiping the blood of a prisoner off your bayonet. Trigger man for a city mob, watching your bullets fell an innocent victim. You were there. In those days, you killed for Rome. It was part of the job being on execution detail. I'd rather have a good man-to-man fight any day, but nobody asked me. I got orders to crucify this Nazarene, and I did it. I've seen a lot of men die on the cross, but nobody like him. You could see him biting through his lips while we hammered in the nails. But he never let out a sound. Just before he died, he gave one shout like a man who's won a hard fight. When it was all over, I went out to a tavern and got dead drunk. I don't know why... I usually didn't think twice about crucifying a man. It was all in the day's work, but... But he was different. Mother, bending over a bed where lies your sick child who must be watched and cannot be helped. Mother, holding a telegram and shaking hands while the blood drains from your heart as it welled from the body of your son... You were there, just as Mary, his mother, stood beneath his cross, powerless to ease his agony, suffering his death in her own heart. Convict, kneeling in a prison chapel, ex-convict, reporting to the parole officer, asking only for a chance to start a new life. You were there. They called you Dismas. The way it happened was this. There were two of us, both thieves, crucified with him. I was on his right. The other thief began to scream at him, Save yourself and us. He was a fool, that thief. I told him to save his breath. We deserved the punishment they were giving us, but he... What had he ever done? I could hardly think because of the pain, but... Suddenly I knew that he was the son of God. I begged him to remember me, a sinner. He promised me paradise. Mr. Harry Crawford, you who end all discussions on religion with a laugh and your favorite comment, when it comes to religion, I can see some point to collecting postage stamps. You, to whom Sunday is the only day you can sleep until noon or get up at 4 a.m. for a fishing trip. You were there, and a city full of men like you with the same comment. Oh, I heard the commotion and saw the crowd. I knew they were going to crucify Jesus of Nazareth. I'd heard of him. He'd been in the city often before. But I'm my shop to take care of. I couldn't afford to lose customers while I sat around listening to sermons and waiting for miracles to happen. The day they crucified him, I followed them a little way up the hill. 
Well, I was afraid I'd be late for dinner. And I didn't care enough about him one way or the other. So, I went home. Yes, we were all there. In those spiritual ancestors of ours. We stood either for Christ or against him. And we still do. We are still there. For his passion continues. He suffers in all the innocent condemned, in the sick and the dying, the disgraced and the deserted. Every man in need of help brings us to Calvary. We are there, and who are we? Are we Pilate, Simon of Cyrene, Veronica, the soldiers, the sorrowful mother, the good thief, or the man who didn't care. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? episode of The Hour of St. Francis, entitled Were You There, featured Ward Bond as narrator, with Virginia Gregg, Howard Culver, Dan O'Herlihy, and Pat McGeehan. Organ music by Gaylord Carter. Vocalist, Richard Wheaton. This program was written for radio by Juanita Vaughn and produced by Father Kenneth, and has been brought to you by the Third Order of St. Francis, whose members with St. Francis pray, O Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. For a copy of this program, Were You There?, or The Peace Prayer of St. Francis, write to The Hour of St. Francis in care of this station.